Welcome to Nakro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to talk about Isle of the Dead, the story details. Yes. So this is some information that actually Josh does not know. No. I came across this. I listened to this audio recording. It's from Dan McDermott, who is the president of AMC Networks and AMC Studios. And he did an interview. He was just basically talking about just the whole network in general, all the shows, the stuff that they're doing. And he got into talking about The Walking Dead and how, you know, they're ending the show and how we have Isle of the Dead and Daryl. But I don't know if he accidentally just said it just to say it, but he gave, dude, some freaking amazing details of what this show is going to be about. It's going to blow your mind. And anyone else Please who tell. hasn't, who anyone else who hasn't heard of this, it's going to blow your mind. So uh, let's get into this. We will play the audio recording and you guys will hear it along with us. So Sweet. let's go. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, The Walking Dead is the is the most successful series in the history of cable television, you know, and for a period of time was uh, the most uh, successful series on all of television. Uh, so, um, it's, it's a thrill to be a part of, uh, just helping shape the, the sort of final season of that show. Um, and, and really, uh, ensure that we land the plane with, in, in the best possible kind way. Of just really finishing deliver, up talking about the walking uh, and dead ending mm -hmm. to the mothership show, which we, the walking dead that will engage and enthrall the fans and really, um, be a great payoff for the years of investment and passion and enthusiasm. While at the same time, here we go, uh, working to extend and and uh, build out from The Walking Dead into the universe, right? Um, with new expressions uh, of, of uh, series in the universe. So we have a, a show with Norman Reedus featuring the Daryl Dixon character that's going to take place in Europe. Okay. And in we're Europe. finalizing uh, all the creative on right now. Here we go. We've got a show with Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Lauren Cohan that's going to take place on the island of Manhattan, mm -hmm. uh, which was left to the walkers 12 years ago when uh, they they overran Manhattan and the, the government decided to blow all the bridges and, and tunnels and just leave the island to the walkers. And, and it's Holy 12 shit. years later, there's a million walker herd that's sort of dominating the streets of Manhattan. A million walker and, herd. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Lauren, you know, Matt, ne Maggie and Negan have to journey onto the island where uh, the, the, the small civilian population that lives in Manhattan um, lives above the 10th floor of all the buildings and they zip line back and forth. Uh, you Whoa. Know, above the streets and they have hydroponic farms, et cetera. And, and um, so, and I, I say all that because it's, yeah, why do you say all it's that? It's illustrative of one of the tenets that we uh, mm -hmm. hold dear when we create shows out of a, an existing franchise like The Walking Dead, which is um, we want to uh, maintain the integrity of the universe, right? And um, and uh, ensure that we don't do anything that invalidates all the history and the lore of mm -hmm. the universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. That's interesting. Manhattan wow. Island. The bl the bridges are blown. I think there's like, uh, I have to look. I think maybe oh, there's a number of bridges that connect Manhattan, dude. But but a million walker horde. You have to live above the 10th floor. You have to zip line across buildings. Dude, it makes sense because That's like sick. if you're if you're the authorities or, you know, the military or whatever during that time. You blow bridges. You like that's a tough call. It is. Yeah, yeah. Because you're essentially saying we're going to kill everyone on that island. We're cutting people off. Yeah, you, either you're going to have to but, swim or find a boat to get off that. But thing. the other side of that is we let this million walker horde her you're trying to contaminate you come not, through. You, yeah. Then we risk the lives of everyone else. Right. You're trying to contain. You're basically just trying to contain it. Yeah, you know, we, we've seen it with you know them dropping bombs and stuff, but that's crazy. But blowing the bridges, we've seen that in World Beyond. Remember yeah. in World Beyond, they were traveling and they're they blowing bridges. But you, the thing that dude. doesn't really make sense about that is like we know the window of turning. Mm. How do how do a million walkers turn that quick enough? And you're just now deciding to blow the bridges? Like, well, no, it's it, you know from what he described, it's it's basically over the course of twelve years. Sure. So sure. so. At the start of the apocalypse, whatever was but going a lot on, of in Manhattan, those are going to get out. Depending, yeah, possibly, and, and maybe that's when they made the decision of, look, these things are coming from here. We need to blow the bridges. Like Probably. that's, dude, that's, yeah. that's yeah. pretty sick. That's pretty awesome. And yeah. so, I mean, but it still doesn't yeah. explain to. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you're good. It still doesn't explain 
why Maggie and Negan are going there. Correct. Yeah, that, that's the biggest thing is if this series is about this, you know, the island of Manhattan that's completely been cut off over 12 years. You know, he, he said the very small population is there. Uh, I'd have to look on Google of how big the population of Manhattan is um, just today. I mean, we're talking about today. I mean, let, let's look at this right now. What is what is the population? This is it, it just doesn't make sense Manhattan. why Maggie and Negan, why Manhattan, you know, yeah. why New York? There has to be some significance. Um, there has to be something. So let's see. Supposedly. Um, 1.6. About 1.6 million. That's that's from 2020, though. Um, so here, hey, let's just do this. Let's just let's just that, Let's just say know. this. There's 1.6 million, right? Yeah, 1.6. So that leaves 600,000. Now, do keep in mind that 600 some thousand aren't just what's left alive. Maybe some of those got out Mm -hmm. uh, before the bridges blew. Maybe a lot of them got out before the bridges blew. So it'd be interesting to know how many people are still alive. Maybe we'll get that number. I'm wondering if we will get the events of the bridges blowing. Like, like show and, some flashback scenes or something. Making that call, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they should show that. Oh, and and of course the timeline of when they did it. Yeah, you know, is it, was it a couple months in? Was it a couple years in? Well, actually, a couple years. I think pretty much everyone would be gone. It would have to be within a few months of the timeline of them figuring out that this is a massive virus. We're getting crazy death people. Let's just blow these bridges and say fuck it, and then leave it to that island to fend for themselves and try to survive. Yeah, that's yeah. It, it's a very cool. It excites us because we're thinking, Dude. oh my god, a million walkers in the island of Manhattan zip lining across buildings, ten floors up. Well, hey, that's the thing. Why do you got to be ten floors up? We know walkers can go upstairs, but would you zip line across the building at ten floors up? It'd be, I would. It'd be awesome. Dude, my ass would not do that. No, he's kind of afraid of heights a little bit. Pissing my pants. I got to fly out on Tuesday. I'm scared to death. (laughs) But guys, so here's the other thing that comes into play is, does the island of Manhattan, does that, will it have any variant walkers in there? Now, we're not saying that the, you know, we're not saying that these would be the crazy ones, you know. We know of the ones that are over in Europe. We haven't seen them yet. We're just theorizing that they can run, they can jump, maybe they can climb, you know, maybe being 10 floors up, they maybe barricaded a lot of the floors so they can't get up. But maybe we'll see some variant types in there. I mean, we're already getting a little bit more variants. We We just don't know the timeline of, you know, the events in Paris and and if anyone got out of there, Oh, from the, the that's infected the, with, the, a, with the, a variant the world beyond with the variant right yeah. well like, that was 10 years in so still, but we, we don't know we don't in the know time the of from the start till the 10 years of when we first saw the variant yeah we don't was there anyone that was infected with a variant that flew across now new york's a pretty huge hub mm-hmm. of international traffic yeah right? for sure so yeah. like if it's going to be anywhere it's going to be there right yeah it's that's the biggest question is you know we also have another video up talking about kind of the the ending of the walking dead and how they truly want to end it it um and unfortunately they kind of contradict themselves a little bit where um they kind of mention that you know the the we'll get more into another video but basically the end of the walking dead is going to be the end of the story it's not going to be progress it's not going to be ending a story to it's progress not open-ended. it's not going to progress into the spin-offs basically is what they're saying but you know from the the small video that we got from san diego comic-con from jeffany e. morgan and lauren cohan they said themselves we will find out what causes them to leave and go to New York at the end of the series. So they kind of contradict themselves. We'll talk cer- about another video, but that's the biggest question. I mean, I certainly hope so. Yeah. <laughs> We're not just going to end the show and then all of a sudden pick up another show. They might do it when they pick up the other show. That's but exactly. Yeah. So they might end. We'll, we'll end the story as we, how we want. And then when you watch Isle of the Dead, you will see a scene or two which tells you why they left, yeah. which is fine, which is fine. Um, Still doesn't make sense. Unless, do you think it's CR? Do you think anything is CRN related? No. In New York? No. Do you but think? Do you I think mean, it has something to do with Georgie? I don't know about Georgie. You know, I, the reason I say CRM is, what is a good testing ground for the CRM? A closed off island, yeah. full of walkers that they can test on. They could shoot gas. They could shoot their gases in there to see if you know, see what the, you know, try to see if they can either create a cure or create more death you think See Negan's wife runs off i've ha- i've i've seen many theories in the comments it's either 
people are like it's either something with Herschel or something with Negan's wife. It's got to be one. It's got to be either both of them or one or the other. Maybe but, Negan's wife but takes Herschel and goes. But then you're choosing. But what character is then choosing to leave a loved one? Who's? Do you think Maggie's going to leave Herschel? Probably not. Do you think Matt or Negan's going to leave his wife? He probably could leave her with Alexandrians. She's pregnant, but. What would cause Negan to go with Maggie? Because he trusts her and he he has a soft yeah. spot for kids. Oh, yeah. Let's go get your son. I'm yeah. with you. Commonwealth you changes know? everything. Because yeah. I, I think that, and, and I think we'll see this at the end. Like, we're going to, I, my envision is we're going to see um, Commonwealth being kind of the springboard of everything coming back to normal. Mm -hmm. um, and then once that happens, and once you have Commonwealth, like, people are going to be more comfortable. And yeah. so Maggie's going to feel comfortable leaving Herschel there and running True. running a mission. Yeah, for sure. Negan's going to feel comfortable leaving his wife and running a mission. Right. So if it's something outside of Herschel and uh, Annie, I it think wouldn't Anne, make any sense. It, we, <laughs> we have to find out what that is. Like, what is going to make you two leave together to go to an island that's full of a million walkers? And A, how are you getting in there? Rick and since, Michonne. Since the bridges are blown, you're going to have to take a boat. Rick and Michonne. Canoe. But yeah. they're not going to do that. Well, you know, there's another video that we can talk about. I've seen some things co coming up of could there be kind of some slight crossovers between Isle of the Dead and maybe the Rick and Michonne series? Could they could they cross paths? Now, I think the first person that Negan and Maggie ho could cross paths with would be just Michonne because Michonne's on her own right now. Uh, maybe they cross paths with her. I, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, it's insane. But guys, for right now, Isle of the Dead sounds cool from these story details from Dan McDermott, the president of uh, AMC Networks and AMC Studios. Um, I'm, I'd be very surprised if he, after that interview, he was like, crap, I probably shouldn't have given those details <laughs> out. <laughs> but it, it does make for interesting conversation. It does make for our brains to really twist and turn because we're like, why are we going Ten there? floors up, dude. That's a sea of walkers with a million. Yeah. I mean, Manhattan is large, guys. So think about a million of them. Are they just in different groups, like around pockets, the island? Just yeah. different pockets of her hordes? They're not getting off that thing. <laughs> like the, the civilian group who's there are just like, okay, we can't get away. Maybe all the boats are gone. We're not Can't crafty you create enough a to build diversion our own. and get them into the ocean? I uh, just just i'd create i'd create a like a castaway raft like freaking you know tom like hanks make did, try noise to the towards out. the towards the beach or towards the the yeah. ocean side try to get him in there yeah i don't know or uh if there's some underground subways like try to get them underground i don't know try to get them underground then you got to seal well, that they're bitch. obviously trapped they're trapped they're uh, absolutely but trapped. what's the supply situation how are you getting supplies? You obviously are getting supplies because you're, you've survived this long. Yeah. Unless you're just zip lining from building to building. Well, dude, after 12. And that's how you're getting supplies. After 12 years, you would think all perishables are going to be taken by them. You know, but but here's the thing. Who do you trust? You know, how do you build zip lines in the order? You have to trust people. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Because you could be zip lining. They'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying there. I'm not zip lining across the building. I, sorry, this is the end. I will zip line as much as I can nope. if I have to. But oh my God, guys. Yeah, let us know your thoughts of what you think of these story details. Are you pumped for these million walker hordes seeing them zip line? Or is the number one question still haunting you is why the hell are we going to New York? How is Maggie and Negan getting there? Why are they going there? And what is this? What is the main purpose of this show? I'm sorry, I don't mean to bring it back open, but didn't we get a world beyond in New York? They, On the way, they were. In, they dropped her off. They were in, in Upper New York. They, they they dropped her off in there, and it was that city completely overrun. Yeah, uh, it wasn't New York. It was a different uh, suburb. It, it was a different. I don't know. If, I don't know if it was in New York. It was a different maybe area of New York. It wasn't, I don't think it was in downtown, close to downtown Manhattan, as far as I know. But yeah, that city that they dropped her off in, I don't know if that, I can't remember what she said that city was, but we'll find it. Yeah, but, we'll find out. Yeah, but either, either way, this this does look cool. Let us know what you think in the comments, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Isle of the Dead details as they come out. And we'll see you soon. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nock Nation. We're out. out.